Welcome back to The Sims 4 High School Years. This is going to be a build by overview of all the stuff that comes with the pack. Thank you so much to the EA Creator Network for providing the early access. Now let's get into it. So because this is an early access version, my origin username is going to be going around the screen as a watermark just to prevent me from leaking it before the embargo is up. That's why that's there. <laughs> But here we are! I mean, already you can see a bunch of items. There's a lot of items to get through, uh, so we're going to be going through all of it and having a look around. Now, I guess one thing to note about this pack is a lot of the gameplay is sort of centered around, obviously, teenagers. A big part of being a teenager is customizing your bedroom and making it your space. So they've actually added a whole bunch of bedroom sets, essentially. And every bed comes with a single and a double version, which is really nice. And a lot of this pack is Art Deco inspired. So you're going to see a lot of that throughout all the selection of the items. Now, I'm not sure exactly what the other styles of the items are called. So if you do know the technical term for these other styles, do let me know in the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot to get through. So let's start over here. I tried to sort of group stuff together, but I realized how many items there were and it kept growing. So we'll, you know, we'll look at it as we come to it. So these are our first two sets of beds here. Now every range of beds has, I feel like, a really good selection of color choices and they're really fun and really detailed. I mean, something that I feel like we've seen in a lot of these packs more recently has been, you know, pretty high quality items that I think look really, really great. I mean, this is just so fun. There's so many different colors and patterns going on. Uh, so those are those two beds here. Obviously they have the matching uh, on both of them there. And oh, I love this chair. The chair of many colors, it's kind of like a little beanbag chair. Um, and it does indeed have many colors. So, I mean, this could be used in pretty much any context of any of these items because it's got the sort of base matching color with a lot of these other sets. And you'll notice a lot of these do sort of mix and match quite nicely with the colors that they're, they're using across the board, even though they are all different styles, which is great. So yeah, there's this little chair here. And there's also a lot of these more simple, I, well, I say simple, but you know, this item here, which is a bit more generic, has some nice patterns on it too. So yeah, there's these beds here as well, uh, whatever this style is. Apologies that I'm not up to snuff on my uh, interior design themes and terms, but yeah, these are cool. I, I, love the, I love the detail on these as well. Like they look so good from all angles. Like it almost feels like a shame to push this up against a wall because you know, you're hiding all of that. It looks so cool. So yeah, these two beds here have some really nice patterns in it. It's so almost like an avocado pattern there. Lots of different colors. Got a sweet gamer version of it as well. Um, I really like these like super traditional looking carved beds as well. I think these are a lot of fun. Uh, they look really nice. So there's a whole range of colors. Again, yeah, a lot of these work pretty much mix and match with the colors you can see on them. Like you can see that same sort of minty sort of color throughout. Like it's obviously not like identical in all of them, but you can see it's pretty similar. Like you could use these throughout the same house if you wanted something cohesive in color, but you know, the styles are varying, which is great. Um, yeah, so then here's a double version of this bed as well, which I think looks so cool. Like I love all the detail on that. It looks awesome. And this little bedside table, I love this. I love this. This is kind of a little bit more Art Deco inspired. Which I don't know that this, does this even go with this set? I mean, I guess it does. It doesn't really look like it goes with the others. But yeah, those sort of uh, angled lines really lean into that. I love this lamp as well. Yeah, that you'll see there's just a, like a lot of items I've placed around because there's a lot of like little clutter items as well that go in all of this. I love the customizations on these two. It's really nice having the sort of more basic ones, but then the ones that have like, I guess presumably like maybe stickers or something that have been put on there. Um, a lot of fun to customize the rooms that way. And then we have this set of beds, which is just a little bit more, I don't want to say generic because they're definitely not, but you know, not as stylized and wood carving and and all that sort of intricate detail. But you got all the detail in the wood and then some drawers underneath. And these are, you know, these kind of like, this, this feels like Brady Bunch beds. This is what this feels like. Oh yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, so you got a lot of different sort of um, themed elements throughout this pack as well. So like we've got the sort of high school, uh, I guess sporting team mascot, or maybe just a high school mascot there. Um, or basketball sporting spread there, you know, all those kind of themes sort of pass throughout. And we've got the anime one as well, which is a bunch of like posters and stuff that reflects all of this. So you can create this narrative about what your sim likes based on the items, you know, around the room. And this is one of the many clutter items. And I think they look so cool. We've got like a looking, like a sort of Polaroid looking camera, a little mirror there as well. We've got some, a little key bowl. Oh, so cool. And I think, I don't know if this is one of them, but 
There's a few variations of clutter items that have different sizes. So there's like one with less, one with more. We'll have a closer look as we get around to them. But yeah, here's the bigger version of this bed as well. For, oh no, sorry, that's this one over here, my bad. <laughs> this is the other bed. This is the other set, which is obviously very Art Deco inspired as well. With all these angles and colors and lines, which is beautiful. I love, I love how many beds we got in this as well. Like, cause I feel like some people in uh, the werewolves pack specifically, cause I don't think there was, there wasn't a double bed in werewolves. So people were a little upset about that. But I mean, we got what, one, two, three, four, five new double beds and five new single beds in this pack, which is really cool. Um, so these are gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, so then there's matching single bed. We got the matching end table here as well, which has a lot of nice fun variants on it. And this is a little clock, a bread and butter toaster clock. <laughs> <laughs> Just a fun little item. Now let's go back through this way again because there's all these chairs and stuff which can be mixed and matched throughout uh, the bedrooms. We've also got this lamp that I skipped over. Now I'm probably going to end up missing something in this lot. Uh, I'll try to go over everything but there's just there is a lot. Uh, there is a lot. I love the pool court on this as well, like this old school styled lamp. Very nice. So yeah, we had a look at our little chair here. Let's put that over there. This I reckon is going to be some people's favorite item for sure. This like hanging egg chair, uh, can go out in a balcony or something, or even sit in the corner of a bedroom. I love this piece. It is so, so nice. And it's so detailed as well. Like, I think that's something that I'm going to be saying a lot. I think the detail of these, this set of items specifically just looks so good. Like if we get all of these together, there's a really good set. Like I said, I, I try to sort of group this stuff together, but because I kept pulling out more and more that sort of goes in that set, it sort of got spread out a bit. There's probably more somewhere, but yeah. All of this whole range of items is so nice. I mean, look at this, this couch as well with this sort of throw draped over it and the, the amount of like color and patterns and stuff you can get through it. There's also of course more subtle ones like that I think is really, really stunning and could fit in a lot of houses that aren't necessarily like super stylized, which is great. And then this as well. So yeah, you can tone these down a lot. Um, and these, these are gonna be super useful. Also, I don't think this is part of this set, but this is fun. <laughs> like this is like colored glass table. It's, if you want a bit of color, you can add this in and you're gonna get it. I mean, <laughs> that's really cool. I love the, I love the transparency on this piece. All right, then we've got some more living room stuff. So we've got this two seater couch, which is beautifully curved. I really like that. And I believe this is a, yeah, this is also a seat as well. So this is a really great piece. I think this is gonna be fantastic for uh, just adding it to the builds. If you want a little bit of patterns and a little bit of color. Also, there's another one, I think. Yeah, this one's kind of similar. This one's actually a coffee table or an end table, I think. Yeah, so th this one's a seat. Um, I love that too, look at that, that's so fun. And then this one's a coffee table as well. So a lot of nice rounded items, which again, I feel like is very uh, deco inspired and especially with the new rounded walls in the game, which if you didn't know about, I'll just give you a sneaky little peek. It's not really part of our build by overview, but we do indeed have round walls. Actually, it is kind of part of the build by overview because it's related to the windows. So we will actually have a look at that a little bit later. But yeah, all these rounded pieces, I think are gonna be so great with that. So yeah, here's a few of the color variants on that. Then I think this is also like a, a bench or like a seating area. Yeah, so you can sit on this as well. Oh, that looks cool. That's such a good accent piece. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Yes, yes, please. Thank you. Let's put it back on that one. <laughs> That's so cool. And then this one, I kind of like this. It kind of looks like a blow up chair. I mean, obviously it's not, but <laughs> it kind of looks like that. And I mean, look at some of the patterns on this. It is just so wild. And I think it's like shiny and sort of plasticky. Oh wait, it, maybe it is a blow up chair. I just figured it wasn't because it's sitting on uh, like an actual frame. But the description literally says, in case of a water landing, this entire chair can be used as a flotation device. <laughs> yeah, so I guess it kind of is. That's really cool. I didn't know that they used to make chairs like this. Like I knew that we had blow up furniture as a, a real thing. Did not know they could come in like a frame. Is this a real thing or is this just a Sims thing? Let me know in the comments. Ooh, that one's nice. More subtle, but lovely. Um, that's that. Now these right here, these three gramophones are unlockables from reaching different levels of the prom, which is obviously a new event when you're a teenager. So uh, there's just gold, bronze, and the silver. And they are like a radio, so that's kind of fun. There's no colors on them, but they're just like a little reward item. A little gramophone, whoops, which are pretty cool. Old school, very nice. Let's get rid of those out of the way. I love this coffee table too. This like sort of pill shaped coffee table. It's like simple, but super like vibrant and colorful on some of the options. So you can really have a big pop of color if you want. Or of course, 
There's always the more sort of subtle toned down ones, but I love the orange and the yellow and, and the red. I mean, look at that. Look how bright that red is. Like if we were out in space, you could probably see that still. And I think that's really cool for that item. Like, I mean, it's really there. <laughs> we also got this more sort of, I guess, thrift store inspired coffee table. Cause another part of this pack is the thrift store that they added where you can get some, some sort of cheaper clothes. And then some of the items are kind of in that thrift aesthetic. Whereas I think this is probably where this table fits. So sort of like a repurposed or resold table that's been passed down. Obviously cleaner versions and then some that have that sort of big stamp on the top as well, which is really nice. I love the little rope handle detail there too. Right, so have a look at this other couch as well. This, I love that they're doing this more. The sort of like draped throws over the couch. It just makes it feel so much more lived in. Like compared to, I mean, even this, I mean, not that this is a bad couch or anything. Oh, you know what? No, actually I like this still because it's got the cushions. Like, let's compare it to a base game couch. How about that? Like this, you know, if this couch just had like a, a drape, uh, a throw draped over it, or even just like cushions, like even how you can see these cushions have been sort of used and sat on, it would go a long way to making it look, first of all, more comfortable because this is the most square looking couch ever but also more used. And I, I love that sort of lived in feel, feel so like looks way more cozy. Cause I mean, looking at this couch, if it didn't have that stuff on it, you can see the angles, you know, they're quite sharp, quite straight. It may not be the most comfortable looking couch, but I think those items make it look way cozier. Also my Lord, that is a wild, wild color swatch. Uh, I don't know if I'll use that one, but some of these are really beautiful, which is awesome. I'd love to see it. Now we got a whole bunch of new, like sort of, I guess, dining chairs. So let's get these over here. Well, that's a parcel. And this is to do with us getting a whole bunch of new desks as well, which this is probably the most amount of desks we've got in a pack. I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying that. But we got five new desks, like we got the five new beds and we got the five new chairs. This is like all going with the whole bedroom theme. Like, you know, all this stuff is to make customized bedrooms. So some, I love this chair, by the way, this sort of new uh, wheelie chair, this detail of the metal uh, and the back sort of sitting on those metal armrests there. Really, really just, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. And of course, the gamer chair. <laughs> of course, we've got the gamer chair right here. We've got a few of these in some other packs, but it's nice to have, I guess, more of them. Well, it's good to have more office chairs because especially with more customization options, like some of these having like the sort of graffiti on it. some like, I guess, decals and all that kind of stuff. So there's that one. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. Oh, I see. Hello. We can make a gamer room. There it is. This is the gamer set. <laughs> Wait a second. So what color is that considered? Do you reckon that's considered black or green? It's not black. Let's try green. It's also not green. What color? Purple. This couch doesn't come up with any of those. It has black and green and it's neither of those. Okay, gray. Okay. It comes up in gray for some reason, but okay. So the reason I want to see that is because I want to see if there's other items that match it from, from the pack. Uh, not that I can see. I mean, there's definitely black colored items, but I think these two items specifically clearly made to go together. That is so funny. <laughs> All right, so there's that chair. We've also got this one. I really like this actually as a dining chair slash obviously, I guess, a computer desk chair because I guess normally in other packs, this would probably end up being an armchair. And I feel like some of these armchairs you could probably use as like a computer chair. It may not be ideal, but like it'd be good to be able to use them that way. Even like this beanbaggy chair. And I, I know these are like slightly lower. So in reality, if you use one of these chairs, you'd probably be like this. You'd just be down here like this on your computer. <laughs> but my point being is it's nice to see like a more armchair-y looking chair uh, for that. And let's guess, this, this is gonna have some, oh yeah, this is gonna have some wacky patterns on it. Cause I mean, look at, is this like a furry sort of chair? Is that what it's supposed to be? At first I thought it was just like a texture, but I think it's supposed to be, is it like a faux fur kind of thing? What is this? Let's have a look. Son of a Sasquatch. I mean, if that ain't a fur reference, I don't know what is. Oh, it's natural fur, dang. But it's natural Sasquatch fur. <laughs> About four years ago, the Sullivan family opened their first global chain of 300 Sasquatch barbershops. Two years later, they opened Son of a Sasquatch furniture store downtown. The critics called their natural fur collection chairs truly abominable. <laughs> Honestly, I know I don't read through all the descriptions and items in these videos because number one, that will take forever. But if you ever get the chance, just have a look at some items in the game and, and read them. Cause there's so like, I mean, look how long this is. It's literally, I think just a place for <laughs> the developers of the game to just write a wild story and have fun and some of them are so funny i mean like what the heck is it so i guess in the sims universe sasquatches 
are a thing. They exist. They also go to barbershops and then their hair is turned into furniture. <laughs> so there you go. Oh dear, that's funny. All right, then we've also got this chair here as well. Love this. Love the triangle look to it. Very nice. This, which one does this look best with? What desk would you put this with? Maybe this one? I don't know. I feel like this chair goes with this one, which also, let's have a look at this chair. This one is very lovely as well. Very nice selection of colors. Lots of patterns as well. Ah, oh, baseball. Yeah. Yeah, this would go with this desk, which by the way, I love this desk. Isn't this the coolest looking desk ever? The beautiful curve on it, the curved legs, the little, the lowered section underneath there with a the little support. I think this is so cool. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so, I mean, this clutter is really cool too. We'll look at it in a second. Look at this, like a little marble section, like a gradiated top section that's been painted. Oh my gosh. Okay, some of these are absolutely beautiful. This desk is so cool. Ha <laughs> he, this is really cool. I love, I love that one. So I was just recording some other videos playing the game and I realized I did miss some items and here they are. So yeah, I totally missed all these dining chairs. This one of course goes with the school desk as well, which you'll see in the classrooms. So they can join together just like that, you know, stereotypical school desk. Then we also have this one, which is used as the principal's desk in the school, which goes nicely with that chair too. And of course, any of the new wheelie chairs. And we have a few other dining chair options as well. I, look, I'm not quite sure why <laughs> I completely didn't see these. Now, obviously this chair matches along with the prom style dining table. So you can see it goes around those like perfectly. And we'll have the same sort of patterns and colors and all that going with it. And speaking of which, these school desks have some really nice sort of roughed up versions, a little bit of graffiti on it, as you can see, which is kind of fun. So I really like, you can have like the clean version or you can have ones that are a little bit more worse for wear. And same goes for the chairs as well, which I think adds, I don't know, it adds a lot of character. The principal's desk, not so much. I guess this would probably be taken a little bit more care of. This one's all clean. There's also this little cart here as well, just a few uh, bits and pieces in it. And you can actually place items in the top too. So it is like a usable side table or like a clutter piece. And it has, you know, nice range of colors, some more bright and vibrant. And yeah, that's looking pretty good. So I think that I think that's what I missed. Now, obviously, I didn't go through all the debug stuff because there's so much. But I think that's that's all for this little uh, little interlude. I guess you know quickly. Here's the little color variations on these guys and on this one as well. So this one matches nicely with this little Ottoman's like fabric. I don't know that I'd really use these together, but you know it's got the same sort of fabric on it, which is nice. It can be used in the same area. So yeah, that's it for the extra items that I missed. Amazing. All right, so let's have a look at well, the thing as we're here, there's clutter. So this is what I was talking about earlier. I know I showed you briefly, but there's two versions of this clutter. So there's the makeup essentials and then there's making makeup magic, which is clearly a reference to the Sims 1 making magic expansion pack. But yeah, so it's like, you can see this set of items is there, but then there's a few extras. So you can sort of have a variety of clutter around the room uh, of different scales and sizes, which is really nice. And then let's get this one over as well. I love that this is actually lower and you can put stuff on it too, not just like purely for looks or anything. Now I believe this one, the craft cubby has also got a variant. I think it's over here, is this it? Yeah, so there's a bigger version of it that comes with like blueprint paper, scissors. I love the variety of it because it means you can have the bigger one up there, smaller one maybe somewhere else in the room. But yeah, a lot a lot of options then to do different stuff around the place. I'm just gonna leave that floating there. All right, then we've got the cost, the traditional desk, which would go with like the traditional room and the beds. Like I said, all this stuff sort of goes really well together. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. I guess I'm not. Oh wait, there we go. So likewise with the beds, this is really well detailed. You've got all the stuff actually on here as well. Um, depending on which, you know, color you go with, you have different things on the back. There's like a schedule, there's like a cork board. Um, really, really, oh, the gamer aesthetic. <laughs> yeah. I like how the gamer stuff is like purple and pink, not pink. What am I saying? Purple and black and like the green. It looks sick. I don't think I'd ever use it. I, I you know what? I don't think I'll ever use this couch. But now that I've said that, I'm going to have to use this couch. I'm like, let's make a game of paradise and it's going to be all purple, black and green. Y you heard it here first. <laughs> yeah, I love this desk as well. Very nice. And then maybe this computer. We'll have a look at closer look at the computers in a second. So this uh, desk as well, similar in the sense that it's got the stuff on the back. I do like that it's actually like see through. So it's not like a completely solid piece, just a nice little detail. It means if you had a wall behind there, you could put something on the, like a different wall pattern or texture and you'd be able to see it. I mean, some of these are really, really awesome looking. And then of course you have the sort of more subtle ones. I do like the sort of scuffs and 
the, the oldness of it. It doesn't look brand new. I think it adds a lot of character to the piece itself. Then we have this desk, which is obviously a lot more, you know, generic looking. Uh, likewise with these beds. It's a more standard looking desk, but it's got a lot more, you know, fun and colored options on it as well. I mean, some of these, I mean, it's just so cool. I love that it looks like they had so much fun just doing these patterns and designs. I'm sure whoever did these probably had a blast. Oh, this one is actually really, I love this. That is great. And this, I think is it, what is that? A chess trophy? Battling chess knight figurine. No, no, it's not, it's not a trophy. It's just a decorative piece. Hang on, a decorative piece up there. <laughs> and then we've got this desk as well, which is much more, uh, I guess, this has got to be the gamer desk, right? Hang on. Oh, is that like an odd? Tell me that animates in live mode. If that animates in live mode, <gasps> It does! You know, I it was like 90% sure that it wouldn't, but that is really cool that that actually animates in live mode. <laughs> that is great. Oh, we gotta have a switch. We, all right, we're making a gamer room, guys. It's happening. <laughs> okay, that is really cool. I don't know if these all have, I guess it does, but that's just, well, that's just a green. So I feel like that one maybe doesn't. I don't know if all of these animate, but definitely that rainbow one. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's have a look at these computers. So these are the new computers. Let's actually go to this one first, because this is like the first, streamer's first computer. Now, I don't know about you guys, but when I first started making videos, I definitely didn't have a computer that looked this good. Um, but I guess maybe times have changed. I, I started making videos like, <laughs> In 2006, 2007. So yeah, no, I mean, screens didn't look like this back then. Screens looked like this back then. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I mean, for a streamer's first computer, that's pretty epic. It's funny though. I love that they're using the phone. They're using their phone as a camera, which by the way, is actually a really good way to start making videos. Like this day and age, I mean, even a few years ago, you couldn't really use your phone as a webcam, but there's all these apps and ways you can do it now. It actually makes it viable to do it. So, I mean, and it's also, I mean, phones have great microphones as well. You could legitimately just use that and, and do a whole like face cam or just recording or whatever. And it actually works really well. Anyway, so this is the computer. I do love the fact that they've included speakers. There's even a second monitor, finally multi-monitor in Sims. I don't remember the last time I used a single monitor. Cause when it comes to like making videos, having multiple screens makes it so much easier because one screen over here, I've got the game. On this screen, I've got my recording software and everything else I need to see. Um, and it just doesn't fit on one screen. So anyway, that makes sense. Anyway, so yeah, I love it. It looks great. Uh, different colors here as well. Let's go through a little bit of fun. Oh, let's have a look at the computer. <laughs> Very cool. That's cool. All right. So I also actually, I haven't played with them yet. I haven't got that far in my gameplay. So I'm going to jump into live mode and just see what options it does. I know that's not really part of a build by overview, but I just want to see because I assume it's got additional options on it versus a regular computer. You know what? I feel like there isn't any additional options. I mean, obviously it's high school, but that's from the pack. Well, there is, again, this is not a gameplay video, but if I go find a job, for example, right? There is new uh, jobs here. So video game streamer. So let's just say I select that. Oh, I can choose an avatar. I haven't done this yet. Do I now have new options on here? I have no idea. I don't know what I'm doing. I haven't played with this yet. All right, anyway, let's get back to build mode. <laughs> so yeah, there's this computer here. There's also, I love this. They've got an ultra wide as well. Big, beautiful ultra wide screen. I used to use an ultra wide and then it ended up not being big enough. So I needed to go back to multiple monitors. So this, a few different color options here as well. Big picture ultra wide computer. So they've got like a microphone on top, which kind of looks like a blue Yeti style of microphone. And they've got a weird webcam that I can't say I've ever seen. I mean, it almost looks like a uh, DJI drone camera. <laughs> I don't know, it's an interesting choice, but anyway, there it is, nice microphone. And then we've got this golden one back here, which is actually an unlockable. Unlocked by reaching level three of the video game streamer career. I guess is the same one, just gold. I guess just a flex. I mean, to be honest, is this supposed to be like actual plated gold? Because I've never been awarded that for making YouTube videos and I'm waiting for it. <laughs> yeah, there's that. So those are those. There's also this new laptop here, which is unlocked for a level three in the computer team after school activity. So if you're in like the computer club, you get this new laptop, which again is like a golden one that I can't change. So I don't know. Yeah, that's another way you can uh, get a laptop too. 
And we've also got this little clutter stack of books, the study stacks. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. Oh, it's got like a little padlock on it. Really nice, um, different color options as well on them. So you could use, you know, multiple of the same stacks, but then just change the color and, you know, you could probably make a room look quite full of books that way. So those are all the desks and assorted stuff in this area. Sorry that this is just so messy. There's just so many items that it's it's honestly hard to, <laughs> to get through them all in a way that makes sense. Now, we also have this new bar stool. There is no new bar, unfortunately, in high school years, uh, which, you know, makes sense because it's about teenagers, but we do have a new bar stool failing a new bar, <laughs> which again, really lovely. I love this curved back design. And oh my gosh, love this sort of like 90s, like squiggle pattern. That is so cool. Oh, I love these like pastel stripes too. That's really nice. Really nice options on that. Then we've also got this, oh, you know what? We don't have a bar, but we have a high top table. You know, I did not put two and two together until just this second. So yeah, I guess this would probably show up. I'm gonna guess, I haven't done it yet, but in the prom, when you go to prom, I reckon these are probably sitting around the place. Um, yeah, beautiful, that, that makes a lot of sense. Let's have a look at this table as well. Ooh, fun colors there as well. No funky patterns on it, but you know, some nice colors. And of course on top, you can clearly see this little lamp, the neon love lamp. Ooh, some really vibrant colors on there too. I do like all the different sort of rainbow colors I got going on. That's awesome. Then this one here is a table, which I am gonna guess we can use. Yeah, with these chairs here, any of these, um, which maybe these chairs are designed for this rather than a desk. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So this is a new dining table, which I guess similar colors and options as that one over there. Very nice. You know, we don't have that many circular dining tables. So whenever we get more, always happy. Um, this, what the heck is this? I put this here, what does it do? <laughs> Elite jamming tablet. Okay, I think it's just fun, unbreakable video gaming skill, video games, ebook. Is it the same as the other tablet, but it's just in a different category? Because we've got this tablet. Oh no, it is also here. Uh, do they do the same thing? Let's just see. Yeah. So these two tablets are the same. It's just a new one with, I guess, a new case around it. Hang on, if you can come grab this, please. I want to see the back of it. Okay, so it's just, yeah, some sort of big hardcover case. All right, buck up, buddy. It's not, don't be so sad. <laughs> the new tablet case and oh, this end table here as well. Love it. I love all these sort of circular, different heighted shelves. Like, I don't know, this whole aesthetic of uh, the Art Deco aesthetic is great. It so, goes really nicely with this desk. And of course we've got some clutter on top of it here. There's a little controller, some CDs, I guess, if people still use those. I guess it's pretty cool to use CDs these days, is it? <laughs> is that what the cool kids do? Oh, baseball there as well. And then again, going on the clutter theme, we've got a pile of clothes in like a laundry basket and like blankets and, and all that kind of stuff. And a pile of clothes on the floor, lots of different colors there as well. And we've got a big floor clutter with a big bag, jumper, books and shoes, a manky sock. That looks gross. <laughs> uh, there's a nice floor clutter there too. All right, let's, uh, let's get through this. I feel like I'm, I've been taking forever. We got a few new rugs as well. Let's pull these over. We got a larger rug here, which has, you know, a huge variety of options to go with, you know, in terms of the style. Like you've always got to make sure to check what variants rugs have because you might not necessarily expect that there's this really cool flower pattern underneath this rug. So always little top tip, check what patterns rugs have because there's always a huge variance. I mean, look at this that, and this, what is this like a, it looks like a slug, but I'm going to guess it's a cloud. <laughs> like a moon. Ah, oh, werewolves! Moon rock. <laughs> the geometric pattern there as well. Then let's have a look at this one. Okay, very nice. See, look at this. Candyland. Got some cool patterns. Stripes. Sort of like zebra pattern there. Oh, look at that. Dang. Then this one, what's, got the, what's this hiding? What secrets do you hold? Ooh, the plain ones are actually really nice. They're just like furry... Uh, round rug, rainbow one, some stars, very cool. So like you might look, the, I always find it interesting which variant they have as the default. Cause honestly, if I looked at this in the catalog and I never looked at the variants of it, I would just be like, I don't want a weird grass rug. <laughs> but yeah, you gotta check, you gotta check what rugs are hiding. They have secrets, I'm telling you. Uh, and then this one here as well, what are you hiding? Do you look at this one? This one has completely different shapes and this is the default one. I feel like they need a, show off the best one for the default because it's like i mean no offense to this one but i don't know that i love it but the circle like that's really cool you circle they've got square ones 
A zigzaggy one. We've got an egg on toast. I mean, I'm not going to use that, but who would think we got a, just a fried egg? The freaking fried egg. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of fun. They got like a cat, some arches. <laughs> oh, these ones are really nice too. Yeah, there's like so much stuff hiding. You got, you got to check rugs. I'm telling you. If you learn one thing today, check the rug. Not the base game rugs. The base game rugs, I'm going to be honest, they are what you get. But ever since I think around maybe get famous, correct me if I'm wrong, they really started doing loads of different styles in the, the rugs. Maybe even before that. So you correct me if I'm wrong on that one. You got to check them. Uh, we've got this beautiful like room divider, which I think is great. There's like all these sort of photos on it. Um, just, you know, simple recolors there. Nothing too wild on it, but really nice. Really nice little detailed piece. Um, and then we've got a whole bunch of uh, like decorations, uh, wall pieces now. So these uh, really nice little cabinet trees. We've got this little lamp in there as well. Let's just have a look at that quickly. I love the like <laughs> squiggly old lamp in there. A little bit of fun. Now these pieces, uh, so this one's just got some nice colors and stickers on it. These ones here are much like the Dream Home Decorator ones, if you remember, they, they all snap together. So obviously not these ones. So the way it works is we've got some ground pieces. So there's like this two high unit one. Then there's like this single little piece, which I love having these tiny little ones because they are, if you have a look at the grid, this is one grid tile. They are like a quarter tile in size. And if you didn't know, if you press F5 on your keyboard, the snapping uh, will change. So, so by default, it will snap like this and you can't quite get it in the quarter. But if you press F5, you can see I can now like snap it into those little spaces. And that means it's really great for putting it next to beds that are like right up against the wall and you can really sort of squish it in. So I love these smaller pieces. And like I said, they snap to these other ground ones and then you can move the whole piece together. So you can then end up designing like this whole unit. You get one of these, I get the taller one, and then I can just pick, if I make sure I pick the right section, I can move the whole thing as one, which is fantastic. So I love that functionality and I really love that they've come back with it. And these, because I guess they're like a thrift store item. Yeah, thrifted floor shelf. Um, they are like really cool repurposed looking designs on them. But of course there is a more simplified version if you just want to go like a white or something, which is great. I always appreciate the blank white because this can go like anywhere. But then if you want to have real fun with it, you know, look at this pattern. This is so nice. <laughs> That's so cool. So yeah, there's a floor, the floor uh, versions. And then I'm just gonna get rid of all those. There's the wall version. So these are little wall units that sort of snap together as well. These wall mounted ones do not snap to the ground based ones. They are like separate things, but they do line up perfectly with it. So you can have the ground one underneath and then the wall ones up above. The only downside to using the wall ones is when you put the wall down, you don't see them. That's one thing I don't really like about it. Um, and same with this hanging shelf here, we can put the clothes on it because these clothes are a functional object. Like if I go into live mode, okay, at the moment I can't click on anything. So, oh wait, maybe they're not a functional object. I thought they were. Maybe that's just Dream Home Decorator. Okay, never mind then. I take that back. It doesn't really matter. But it's just a shame because if you end up doing, it's still on that note, if you end up doing all this beautiful like wall detailing and then you play your game like this, you just never see it. And that's always a bit of disappointing. Like it should be like this where you can still see it. Not every item because if you saw every poster, it would be annoying. But I don't know. I feel like the clothes and like the clothes racks should probably still show up because you lose a lot of detail that way. I don't know if there's like a good way to do it. Maybe there's like there should be like a toggle so you can show it sometimes or I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, so these there's a whole bunch of new clothes, I guess now that we're on the topic and new clothes racks again, like Dream Home Decorator. Um, I'm going to guess, I don't know because I don't have Dream Home Decorator installed right now, but I'm going to guess that these work with those clothes too. So you get these empty racks. You can see we've got them here. And then you go to the clothes, which are in the wardrobe section, which is why I thought they were functional, which I'm pretty sure they are. I don't know why it wasn't working. But anyway, then you can snap it onto these uh, pieces here. They're like, these ones can go there. And I think that, yeah, there's like a smaller version here that goes into this section. So you can sort of fill out this rack with different clothes. And of course they have different colors, so you could use the same ones multiple times, but different colors. And you can also, uh, if you wanted to use even more, like make it look even different, uh, different, uh, even more different, you can put it the other way. So if I rotate it, I've got to remember how to do it because you can have the hangers facing the other way. Maybe I just go the other side. I don't know. It's kind of hard to do it. You can do it. <laughs> I don't know how to get it to go. Oh wait, hang on. Oh, here. So yeah, I can flip it either way. I don't know why it was so finicky, but yeah. So if I put it the other way and then had like clothes next to it, it was the same. Actually, this is the same set right here. Oh wait, no, it's not. I thought it was because those look similar. Anyway, whatever. You can, you can get a lot of variants out of these four different options. So let's have a look. We've got, which one's this? This is the 
chill vibes hanging clothes. Then we've got next to that, we've got the breaker sweat hanging clothes right there. This is the elegant duds for cheap, which is these ones. And the parental stand up comedy, which I think is this one over here. Yeah, just there. So a few different options going on there, which is really cool. And of course, not to ignore these hanging racks, I believe. Yes, I can put stuff on these, but it has to be the right item. I found <laughs> I could put a hand soap there. I was trying to put a plant, but it didn't work. I, I don't know if any of these are small enough. Maybe there's some clutter that can go there actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you can put things on this little shelf here. Maybe on this? Oh, you can, that's really cool. So you can get like clutter down the bottom here too. Actually, can I get one of those clothes piles? Do those fit? Oh, you can put clothes pile underneath. So yeah, you can use the shelves actually on these as well, which is great. So that's nice. I'm gonna guess the little, little decorative shoes from Dream Home Decorator would fit there too. Let's see, these base game ones don't, but you can, they kind of look like they fit just, Clipping them in, to be honest. But yeah, so you can use those little shelves underneath as well, which is great. And on the side of this one. And they have plenty of color options, bright colors, lots of fun, more subtle ones too. Uh, and then on this one as well, some nice colors. Let me zoom in a little bit. Some nice colors, but then also more subtle ones as well, which is great. So those are the clothes rack and the new hanging clothes. And then I guess this one on the wall as well, just here, you know, got all the variants. Uh, we'll look at the wall stuff in just a second because there's a lot to go through on those. Uh, this is a new trash can as well. So if you want to, have this, I guess you can you can use it as a bin. And we got some new, what is it? I think this is just a side table. It says it's classroom drawers, I guess, so, like, yeah, in a classroom. But yeah, just like a little side table buffet kind of thing and a matching sort of tall boy. What is it called? Classroom shelf. Yeah, just that, just matching one there. I'll look at that mirror and stuff in a minute. This one here as well is actually a clothes rack. So you can put your clothes inside of this one just here. So obviously these go really nicely with all the bedroom pieces. Got a traditional one as well over here. And the more, I, I, I keep calling this one generic. I know it's not like a generic style, but I, I just feel like compared to the other styles, like it seems a lot more toned down. Having said that, this really colorful version is not toned down. Like that is really cool. That's so much fun. So that's the tall version of that one there. Um, and then we've got this guy here, which is, as you can see, a new like jukebox speaker. I'm gonna guess these are mostly used at the prom event, uh, but of course you could use this anywhere. Like I'm just on a residential lot now, so of course we could use this. Very fun and colorful. Now, any uh, just, uh, ground items? Yes, over here. Uh, so yeah, let's. Just, I just wanna finish like the home items and then we've got more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is long. There's a lot to see. So we got a dresser here. Nice Art Deco one. Oh my gosh. Look at, oh my gosh. Dude, these are great. I love this. Where's that? This as well. There's, yeah, some of these pieces, just like you could, was it, was it this rug that had the, kind of, that's not quite the same, but I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's so cool. Yeah, so this dresser here, very nice. Lots of fun colors. And then this, I love, again, I just love this style, the curved, uh, corners and the framework on it to go with the desk and the side table this bedroom set oh these kind of look like half plum bobs too i like those oh, this set is so cool really nice looking yeah there's not matching one there got a taller version of this art deco one too i mean some of these are so fun i love the mirror on the side of this one as well nice extra detail a more traditional one here too with a nice potentially decoupage on it i don't know could just not that. I love this orangey color too. It's really good. This one's a lot of fun. This is, that is, that is so cool. I love that. That's cool. And then we've got the generic one, which again, not generic, but I don't know what to call it. I do like this sort of, I guess, maybe like potentially sort of water damage or grime damage that it looks like it's got down the bottom. Oh, it's just not been painted fully. You know, like they didn't do the best paint job. I love that about it. <laughs> it's so cool. There's a little bit of character to it. Oakley doakley. Uh, oh, I completely skipped over this mirror sitting on the floor in the middle. This is a neon lined mirror. I don't know that it like, like it lights up as you can see, but I don't think it animates. I don't think there's any like animation to it. No, it kind of looks just static, but yeah, it does. When you go to, to nighttime, it is illuminated. So you can kind of see it that way, which is a little bit of fun. But like the purples and the oranges. Yeah, that's cool. Very, very cool. Okie dokie. I think I've covered all this stuff, which took forever. There's a few more items over here, but we'll have a look at those in a minute. Okay, let's have a look at the wall. Behind here, I've got one big piece, which is, uh, this is used in the town, I think on the side of the thrift store. Yeah, Thrifty Depop Mural. Oh, that actually says Depop. Yeah, so The Sims actually collaborated with Depop uh, to have like secondhand clothes and stuff on here. But yeah, this is a big mural. There's no variants on it, just a big wall piece, uh, a little bit of fun. So that's just around the back there, as you can see it. Behind that, while we're here, we might as well look at the, there's the new, or one of the new wallpapers. There's like a wave of dripping 
nature, a little bit of fun. I mean, it's kind of like you'd use it for a fun accent wall or something like that. I don't know that this is going to be at every house of mine, but it's a fun little different look of the wall. All right, let's have a look on the wall over here. Now this, speaking of illuminated neon stuff, this one is fantastic. Let me put this over here. So this doesn't like produce light, but you can see like it is illuminated. So you can see it when it's dark and look at all the different ones that are in here. They're all light, lit up. They're all different colors. Um, there's so many different, oh, the cactus one. There's so many different ones that you can use to decorate your rooms with. And even cooler, I don't know if this is even cooler, but also equally cool, I should say, with this is it scales properly too. So you can have a really big one and it still scales up. It's still illuminated. Um, you can make it smaller. Unlike some of the, I find that notable because some of the base game ones, they are, they don't scale like the neon signs. So it's really nice to see that that does scale and how many different versions there are. All right, looking back on the wall now. Uh, so these here are the diplomas you get for, you know, going through high school. It doesn't appear that they're actually locked. Um, so I guess you can just buy them. But there's high school diploma with valedictorian, which is uh, this one here. There's high school diploma and then there's high school diploma with honors and they just have different frame options. So, you know, you can display that as a little memento. Up here, hidden away, RGB strip lights. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 not that kind of strip. Just like a line. Uh, these are just pure white, but when you go into live mode and then change them, let's say set color and intensity, this light, let's just say this one's gonna be red or this sort of orangey color. And then we'll just make it dark in build mode. It's just like a little accent light and it does have that sort of glow coming down. So you can make the gamer room of your dreams. <laughs> See, those are actually kind of cool. I do like those as well. All right, then let's have a look at some of these wall decals. So this one here is called Snack Attack. And of course, like I was mentioning earlier, all of these have so many different variants. And even some of these are illuminated too, which is so, so cool. Like I love that they're mixing and matching like this little banner that is also a glowing popcorn sign. I mean, isn't that awesome? Like the fact that they're squeezing all these in. Okay, if I could, I, I can't seem to click on it again for some reason. <laughs> Hello? Okay, uh, alrighty. Okay, I can't even pick up this item anymore. What, where did it go? <laughs> it's a little glitch, just Sims 4 for you. Yeah, but I, I love that, that that's even in here, like this glowing ice cream sign. I'll go back to daytime, there's like, just these sort of more regular banner looking ones too. Oh, boba tea, yeah. Oh, donuts. Oh, I want donuts now. And they do scale quite nicely as well. Uh, so that's that one. Uh, and then this one, not as many variants because this is actually like a three dimensional sign that's like sticking out off the wall. This one is for the boba tea slash thrift tea shop. Uh, so if we go to nighttime, that one does illuminate as well. But this, yeah, this one's just a static sign. Uh, this piece here, very cool. This is a loudspeaker. I mean, quite clearly for the high school. I don't know if it does anything on my home lot. I can buy it. Um, let's see, can I, can I do anything with it? I don't think so. I think it just is there. But in the high school, when you're there, you actually hear like announcements over the PA, which is kind of fun. And then we have this one here as well, like a little menu for the boba tea place. Again, probably looks quite good scaled as well. So you can have a bigger one. And now we're gonna get into like the, these posters here. There's so many options on these of all different styles. So this one, I guess got a bunch of CDs hanging up. And then we've got a couple of records, like vinyl records. And I mean, some of these are just so cool, like the art. And then like this one as well, just like sketches and artwork. Um, there's a couple of vinyls there, little, little Polaroids in the shape of a heart. I feel like I'm really far away. Sorry, I should go a little bit closer. Hang on, if I go here, that's better. Now we can kind of see it a bit better. Yeah, CDs, vinyls, uh, the artwork, the sketches. There's a, there's a little Polaroid love heart, uh, lots of collages there, and ribbons for those that are high achievers. So yeah, there's a lot in that one. And then there's also this one here, which again, has plenty of different collages of different items from completely different like styles and themes. I mean, you would who would think that this is underneath this, you know, like, which is great. It means there's so much option to go through. You just have to make sure you check through to find the one you're looking for, you know. Ah, Neon Cat. I assume that's what that's a reference to. <laughs> and then a couple of banners hanging out there in the end. Very, oh, cow plants. And, oh, periodic table. Yeah. And then this one as well as I love these ones that look like that, you know, they've been an old banner or sticker or something on a wall that sort of peeled off or faded over time. Um, these old school like ads really, oh, compass. Yeah. Uh, some like nice signage and painting and yeah, like nice, real, really nice like, old signs for buildings and stuff. I feel like these are gonna have some good uses to them. So yeah, that's under that one. And then this mirror as well, which we sort of skipped over before, nice curved mirror. Matches nicely, I think, with the curved like 
uh, desk set here. Love that. You know, back. There we go. Yeah, so here it is. Beautiful stuff. Lots of different little stickers on there as well. And then some that are a little bit more simple, just standard color, white. All right, then we got two photo booths, which is a brand new item in the game that these Sims can go in and use. Uh, there's a big shadow in my way there. Let's move that. There we go. So this is the photo booth and this is the glamorous photo booth. I don't know that there's any difference in gameplay other than this one looks fancier. You know what? Let's see. If I click on this one, take normal photo, take uncomfortable photo. Ooh. Uh, no, they just look different. <laughs> I think they just look different. That one just looks fancier. I think they are more expensive too. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, not my match. The glamorous one is 75 simoleons more. So <laughs> it's not that glamorous. You know, it is a little bit, but not much more. And we've got this statue here as well, which I think is used. Um, I mean, it's going to be somewhere in the world, right? Maybe this used to be a park. It might have been here or maybe it's at the high school. I'm not sure. But we've got a Minecraft statue, you know, when you go off and do some mining and crafting. Yeah. And a few different options there as well, uh, depending on what look you want. So nice new statue for the game. Um, and then we've got some thrift store, community store stuff. So this is like a little, uh, the thrifty monkey for like the little mascot for the boba tea shop, <laughs> which is kind of cute. I like this little statue. And then these are really cool. Like these are just clothing racks that you can put in the thrift store. Um, lots of different variants. So you can see we have the same, you know, rack color. Uh, along the top here and then different clothing colors underneath and then each row has like a different rack color and then the different clothing colors and I think that's the same on this one as well yep so we got the sort of first rack color the second one here and then the third one although this color looks like it should be gold so I'm not sure if this is the wrong color for the, the rack because if I don't know I don't know it, it, all the swatch colors are wrong but yeah just nice decorative items so I mean this pack would actually be pretty good to like open a clothing store if you had get to work as well Obviously, you'd sell the entire rack if you wanted to do it that way, but these are nice decorative pieces to add into the store that way. And then speaking of decorative pieces, we got this back shelf decoration, which just goes behind like the boba bar, which is this piece here. Uh, you got all the things you need to make boba, which I don't know what that is or how you make it, but it's all there, I'm going to guess. <laughs> it's all there, maybe. Uh... And then this decorative piece at the back as well, just to sort of complement it and create a shop out of it. And then this piece, I was gonna say these, cause there's two, but it's over here. These pieces, very cool. This is just a, a pile of stuff, just essentially clutter, but bigger. This is for the thrift store as well. So when you go to the thrift tea store, which has the boba and the thrift store shop, uh, shop front, you have all these sort of stacks of stuff like clothes and shoes and this is just one big piece, which again, if you were to sell it, it would just sell the whole item, but it's just a really nice decorative piece to put in the shop, like sunglasses and bags and shoes. Um, these are really cool. These are really cool little additional pieces. And I think running a retail store with these in would look really awesome. And then with that, here's this piece here, the thrift shop counter, which is also nice, nice posters and wrapping paper there on the side as well, like spooled up. Yeah, that's cool. Very cool. Uh, and this over here, if you're wondering what this random white square is, this is the handmade promposal sign. So in live mode, we click on this uh, and we can scrap it. I'll put it in my inventory. I think I probably need to do stuff through gameplay to actually use this. Let me just see if it's in my... No, 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 no. Okay, just put it in inventory. Okay, you can't. I don't know if I'm even supposed to be able to buy this because he can't seem to do anything with it. Wait, are you an adult? No, you're a teenager. I don't know. I don't know how those work, but yeah. Obviously, that's an item you actually use in gameplay, so it's not really something you'd be placing in build mode anyway. Um, cool, <laughs> that's that. Uh, this here is the canteen or the school cafeteria uh, buffet. So when you're at the high school, this is where like the lunch worker will serve you food and you can get food from it. Just a really nicely detailed piece. Um, yeah, it works very much like the Discover University uh, cafeteria sort of table. Uh, and that's that one there. Let's just, uh, you know what? Let me move this stuff out of the way because we've got some stuff on the wall there to look at. Here we go. We've looked at all this stuff. Very nice. Okay, this is where we get some cool stuff as well. So these are just decorative uh, ivy trellises that go on the wall. Um, and what you may have noticed, obviously from the trailer and you may already know, but one of these is actually a ladder. This one here is a ladder, which is really cool. So what is cool? Let me just get those out of the way for a second. Yeah, so this ladder will place just here and that comes with the ivy going up to the correct point. So let me just put the walls down. So if we go down, you can see the ivy on the ladder goes further down. Likewise, if we go down here and if you have seasons and it's a different season, the leaves actually change color 
And I'm not sure if they fully fall off, but they will, like, you know, they'll change color with the seasons too. So it's fully integrated in that system. Put those curtains back. And if you put it inside, which you could do if you want. Oh, it wasn't supposed to have leaves, but I think it has to, hang on. If it's fully inside, because it's going outside. Hello? Oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, yeah. I just had to replace it. Oh, if it's on the wall. Okay. Well, this because this is inside, it doesn't have any leaves on it. Uh, yeah, so it is like reactive to what environment it's in, which is actually kind of cool. So it doesn't always have the leaves on it, but it should put it there when it makes sense. So yeah, essentially this is a way for the teens to sneak out. You hide the ladder in amongst, uh, you know, regular ones. So this one here, for example, is just, this is just a decorative piece. So you could have a whole bunch of these and then the ladder is one of them that your sim can actually climb down, which is really cool. And they of course have the different colors, different colored trellis. And like I said, the leaves, if you have seasons, do uh, change color with that. Um, then we've got a bunch of different curtains along here, you know, match all the new rooms. There's so many different variants in all of these as well, which I'm not gonna go through all of them. Because how long is this, this video I've been recording? Over an hour so far. So I think, let's have a quick look through those. You know, there you go. <laughs> Sorry, this is, I don't know if I'm just skipping over. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm just skipping over stuff too quickly now, but yeah, there's a lot of options in those. Behind, you might be able to see, is a new wallpaper as well. This is part of the new walls. There's not too many new walls, but they, there's a, there's a, actually there's a handful of them. Um, and there's a decent selection of colors where it looks a little bit more regular, but then there's fun colored like orange ones and reddish and green. So a lot of variety in them to build something different with them as well, which is nice. Um, and then this is another one of the wallpapers, which I think, is this a tile or what is this? I don't know. <laughs> this is not in the tile category. This one is though. So this is another new wallpaper, a tiled wallpaper. And obviously depending on how tall the wall is, that won't be that tall. If we had a shorter wall, that section is much smaller and it makes a little bit more sense. But yeah, this is a very art deco looking wallpaper. It's actually pretty cool. I feel like I, I might get some good use out of this wallpaper. Um, so what the heck is this? Is this paint or is this, <laughs> what is it? Wall oh, it's wallpaper, okay. Uh, some hexagons. Hexagons are the best gons, as they say. Yeah, I don't know, lots of fun colors. Maybe you can make a sweet gamer room out of it. Maybe this will go in our gamer room. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. So yeah, there's that wallpaper. And there's some other bricks as well, which we'll just have a look at while we're here. Let me make sure I cover all of them. So yeah, we've seen those ones. There's this one here, nice art deco detail up the top. And all of these have those same matching colors that we were going through just before. And there's this one as well. This is the interior one. Oh, I love that, the sort of little blue color there. And the, oh, the, the detail on some of these looks really cool. Uh, and then some more exterior brickwork, which again has all those sort of colors that we saw before. So you can create lots of different options. Lots of different colors. I do like these really big bricks here. And there's that one. And then we've already seen the other one. So those are all the wallpapers. And let's have a look at these items down this way. We've got a brand new trash can that looks like the most American trash can I've ever seen. Like in every TV show and every movie, they always have these with the lid on it, you know? So it's actually kind of cool to see it in The Sims. Shame it doesn't have the lid, but you know, standard trash can. And then we've also got this trash can, I guess a more modern-ish looking one. A few different colors. Oh, I like that one. That's nice and clean. And uh, we've got a new vending machine as well. Snack attack vending machine. Uh, a few different colors and variants on that. We've got a few new bookshelves, which I think are sort of like, yeah, like sort of school style bookshelves. Grand, academic, stepping stone, lofty elementary bookcase, zigzag bookshelf, you know, just stuff to have around uh, around the school. Uh, yeah, these are these are good, you know, make some good libraries in them. Now these are the lockers. They come in a few different sizes. So we've got a four, we have a three, we've got a double and a single. And these have a few different colors and in gameplay, you can claim your locker and then decorate it with different like uh, decals and stickers and all that kind of stuff. So you can make them look really different in gameplay. But the cool thing about this is it means you can sort of combine different sizes of these. So I don't have move objects on right now, but you can see this three can actually slot into that. The two can slot into that and the one as well. So it means you can sort of fit any size of wall, which is really nice. And also it means you can have like, you know, four of that color, three, two, and one, and get the look that you actually want with it, which is pretty cool. Um, then we've got a couple of new bathroom things. We've got a new cubicle which I think previously was only Discover University, was it? So now that we've got a new cubicle, this means you can have them in you know, a public bathroom setting and multiple Sims can go to the toilet at the same time without them getting embarrassed and trying to shoo the other Sim out. So it is actually quite handy to have that. Um, these are all pretty clean though. The ones on Discover University had some graffiti options. These are all quite clean and nice looking. And a new sink as well. Oh, look at that big tap handle in there. 
as chunky. I love it. Uh, nice Art Deco style on that as well. And then we've got the high school whiteboard, which I don't know, does this have anything we can do outside of high school? Oh, I can, I can, as oh, I can assign it to class, but we're on a private property. I don't know, I can also prank it. So yeah, I mean, these make more sense in the actual high school lot, but that's the whiteboard there. And we've got this huge new awning object, Leo's Labyrinth Awning. So just a huge awning that snaps onto a wall. I don't know, just a fun item if you wanna have an Art Deco inspired awning. I don't know how many times I've said Art Deco this video, so. So there you go. Apologies for saying it a million times. All right, we've got some of the other walls up there that we already saw. Uh, we've got some more wall decorations over here that we didn't have on the other side. Let's move some of these out of the way. Actually, you know, what? before we go through these, these are banners that will appear at the festivals that happen around the school and for the school. That's why most of them don't have recolorable options because they are specific banners that appear for a specific event. Um, this one I think is just more generic, so you could use this uh, at the prom and have a different background on it. But yeah, these are all for those kind of events. So like cheerleading on this one, that's football, the, I guess the programming event, chess event, graduation, and then this is the generic one. And then this is like the, well, it's as you can see there, the entrance banner, which as you saw in live mode, you might've seen it anyway. Unpause. Oh, well, there was confetti shooting out of it before. Now there isn't. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. And we've got a few uh, school, like this kind of stuff's over here because it was more school related, except for this one. I mean, this one's clearly, <laughs> I mean, I guess it could be school related, but yeah, just hang on. Camera is being annoying. There we go. Uh, a few more posters as well to put around your bedrooms or around your home, the school, all, the, all that kind of stuff. Some cool uh, different variants on that one. This one as well, some more posters. There's loads of like posters and decorations, which I think is really, really cool in this pack. Um, this one as well is kind of just like a bunch of diplomas. I think this is probably used in the principal's office at the school. Uh, lots of different sort of little variations on that one. We've got a decorative wall mounted pom pom. So I guess you could just have a lot of fun with that. <laughs> and then these are banners as well that are used, uh, as you can see for the, the cheer team, football team, chess team, computer team. They don't have colors, they're just set ones. And this one we actually already saw over the other side. And then this one as well is a trophy case for the high school. This just kind of comes with all the stuff in it. I don't know that there's any room to add stuff to it, but that's this piece here. Just nice decorative piece for the high school. And then this is a smaller banner that appears as well alongside those bigger ones at the events. This one does have recolors, but it's just for each of the variants of the banners. So you can see they're all just in there. And we have a little, what is this? Frank the Mini Womp Womp. So the Womp Womp, I believe, is the mascot of like the pier. Uh, you'll see him on the end of the pier as well in the world, but yeah, there you go, that's nice. Uh, I've got a couple of potted plants here, a few different colors. Some of them look really nice. I mean, that looks so nice. I love that. I love the wood texture on that. And then this one here as well, a few different colors. Uh, this guy is actually meant to go on, well, it can go on the floor, but this is like the Glamour Beverage Fountain for, I guess, the prom. Uh, we also missed this table. I don't think I put this anywhere. This is uh, definitely a table you'd use at the prom or such events because it is very themed with like dangling lights and stuff. And then of course the matching table for the actual, I guess, punch or the juice. Probably not juice because it's high school, but yeah. That table goes there. I also missed this table too. I don't know how I missed so many items. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on here, but yeah, also a lot. This is the cafeteria table that you'll see around the school right there. And we've got the football item as well, which you can toss around, I believe, and sort of do a bunch of stuff with it. So if I put it in my inventory, I think that's how I use it. Then I think I need to potentially use it with someone else. <laughs> with myself, I can't do anything. I think I need to play with someone else. But yeah, that's the football. This is like a sign for the high school, uh, different color options on it, but yeah, same sort of thing. The podium for the high school as well is just here. It's also a new microphone, which looks more like a microphone than the base game microphone, which is kind of, I mean, it looks like a microphone, but I really liked the curve thing. Nice to have one that looks more like this. Uh, I've got some of the trophies here for the chess team, the computer team, the cheer team, and the football team. These are the trophies that you can unlock. I think there's a whole bunch of uh, like different, which ones are these? Are the, the, are the bronze ones? Because there's other ones too. There's a whole bunch of trophies. You can get a bunch of trophies. <laughs> um, and then these two things here, and actually maybe this one too, yeah. All of these is what you do the cheerleading on. So you can have a smaller one for yourself. Or the larger one, I think is what, four or five Sims together do a cheer routine. And these have a bunch of different options as well. Uh, this one's just more blank and then smaller one. Yeah, just there. And a couple of new chess tables to go for the chess team. Uh, this is an unlockable one, which kind of just looks like this one. I guess it's just got the gold accents. I mean, this is an extra table, um, just with gold. It's a special one, I don't know. <laughs> but this is mostly the new one here. I kind of wish that we just, uh, we don't have like a generic table that has chess on it. The, all, all the like 
chess tables are like really like not just normal looking. <laughs> I don't know. I just want like a table that has a like I just want a regular table that has like a fold out chess board on it. You know, why can't we use like one of these? For example, you know how like, you can play the games on all the different kind of tables. Why can't you just fold out a chess board in here or something? I don't know. Anyway. New chess table. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I don't actually care that much, but, <laughs> but it would be nice if they're adding more chess stuff in to have an option like that. Uh, I've got a couple of new food stalls as well. The Sports Day Festival market stand. Oh, not food, sorry. They, they buy like, um, I think the clothes and stuff and the, the Science Day Festival stand there too. These are just big wall decoration pieces so you could use it on the outside of your building or in the inside as like a wall detail for the Art Deco theme. I mean, look, look at these. Some of these are just so colorful and they can sort of, you know, line the wall like that with them. You know, maybe in a better color, but that's what you do with them. Uh, we've got this piece here is like a big, what does it say it says? Grand Ap Academic Floor Mosaic. Yeah, so this typically will go inside. Uh, it doesn't have to, but it's just a big piece that's used at the high school. It has a few different options on it as well for like the teams, which my thing's in the way, so I'll move it out of the way. Yeah, a few other different team-based stuff as well. Yeah, it's used for making the high school mostly. New fences and gates as well. We've got the metal Art Deco fence here. Again, with all the sort of matching colors that goes with all the, like the walls and all that. So you can really get stuck into that theme and styling. So there's that fence and then there's this fence as well, which is like the more stone looking option of it. This one is not as colored, but that kind of makes sense if it's like a stone. And then we have a couple of gates, which I don't know why I've done the gates the opposite way around, because clearly this gate goes into this fence and then this gate <laughs> goes into this fence. But there you go. Oh, this the gate has little colors on it too, which is kind of cool. You can get some fun colored gates on this one. And this one, of course, would have the matching uh, colors to that. Uh, lastly, we've got a couple of things on this building over here. So we've got a new column, big, thick, chunky boy, which I'm going to guess has the same fun colors. So a lot of the other stuff in the pack, greens and oranges. We also got a new freeze or a wall trim. It is a freeze. Yep. So new freeze uh, to match on with all the Art Deco stuff. I don't think, oh, we did get it as a floor trim as well. So if you don't know the difference between a floor trim and a freeze, is, um, let me get rid of this, hang on. So a freeze places on the top of a wall. Oh wait, it's not a freeze. Okay, never mind. there is no freeze. But uh, yeah, the freeze is placed on the top of a wall. Hang on, this, this wall's too short. Yeah, I need it. I, need, I, need, I think I need a medium wall. Okay, hang on. <laughs> okay, so a freeze, yeah, here you go. Places on top of a wall like that. And then the floor trim, this one's too big, I think. So is that one. Okay, I need to, <laughs> why are they all so big? And a floor trim places on the bottom of a wall. So if I'm placing it on this upper room, places on the bottom. Whereas if I'm down here and I place a floor trim, it won't let me because it has to be up here. But a freeze I can place on the bottom one and it'll go there. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of, I don't really know why they're different, but that is the difference. Yeah, anyway, so we've got this new one here. Goes around like that. Oh, we do actually have a third fence as well, which is this little one, which I've actually used up here on the top. There's like a little trim fence like that. Look at that, beautiful. And you could combine it with this floor trim underneath it. And I feel like that kind of adds a lot. And then there's also these decorative roof ornaments. now. Without move objects, I can't place it in this fence, but I feel like putting it in the fence with move objects looks really cool. And then of course, this big piece here is a new roof decoration too, which is used on the high school. But I feel like, yeah, combining all these items with using move objects, that fence and all that, you can get a really nice like Art Deco looking trim up the top here. <laughs> get some bright colors. Let's go. Okay. Whew. Right we've got the doors and the windows left, which is probably not in the best place because there's trees here. All right. So we've got new stairs, two new stairs. We've got this one here, which is a stone step. You can see it's sort of six individual sort of pavers placed across it. This one is kind of like that fence where it doesn't have any wacky colors, but just more standard stone look. Then the other one, this is the one where it's Got all the fun colors to match all the other Art Deco stuff. So you can go kind of crazy and kind of nuts with this one. Have a bit of fun with the colors. And then likewise, I've got the same matching fences as the uh, fences we saw down over there. So you can just mix and match with those. They all go together there. Uh, and then we've got the doors here. This nice big door, uh, nice big stonework door. Uh, we've got a simple door just here. Easy. I think it's quite cheap as well. The basic $50. Yeah. Uh, and then we've got the basic that has like the bedroom stuff. What is it called? The My Style. So yeah, this has got a bunch of different fun colors, stickers, lights, all that going on all over it. The other side also has different stuff from the back. So you can see you can actually flip the door around depending on which one you want to see more. Um, yeah, so they're, they're really like if you have a look at this, like there's this side, then that side, you know, they're really fun. Really, really fun door to have that option. Um, then around this side, we've got a couple of like school doors. 
the classrooms, regular door. This one's got like a little sign, it'll be like a faculty door. I don't think there's any actual difference uh, in terms of like gameplay. Like I think any sim can walk through this. I think it's just like a visual little nod to say like no students in here or something like that. But yeah, that's that door. Got a double door as well to match that sort of fence and the gates. Nice geometric door, nice big stone art deco archway. And this window is the one you can climb through which is really cool. We'll have a look at that as well. It's just a regular looking, I actually also just really like this as a window because we don't have a window like this. Like I just want this window so bad. Like there's this one, but the frame is a little bit more chunky and it's a little bit more, not quite what I'm after. This is just a big window that looks like a window. The only downside is you can't obviously move it up and down like other windows because the sim has to be able to climb through it. And, but you can move it sort of smoothly along the wall wherever you like. But yeah, I really like that window. And yeah, nice colors as well on it. Pretty simple, pretty versatile, so it can fit into any house, which I think is the idea. Then we've got some Art Deco range of windows. Now you might be wondering why there's like two of the same window here uh, and here as well. They are technically different, even though they've got the exact same name. I'm not quite sure. Oh wait, actually, you know what? I think I do have the same list, two of the same window. Oh, there we go. Okay, stone seal window and the Art Deco schoolhouse. And then this one, yep. The classic, the classic, sorry, modern window and the subtle curves of glass. And then this one in the middle, which is just a, a window, which it's kind of cool actually, that big frame around it. Inside is simple, but outside has got a big detailed frame on it. But yeah, so we got these windows, um, which look identical, but they actually have different colors, which is interesting. Which I, I didn't realize until right this second. Some of them are the same, but then some of them are different, which is an interesting thing. And then this one as well over here, now these ones, if you have a look at them in the catalog on the two, there's this one, but on this one is a little asterisk that says curved window. Um, the reason I didn't know why they have two of them because the curved window can be placed on a regular wall, as you can see. But the big difference is, like I alluded to at the beginning, with curved walls, curved windows can curve around the curved wall. I mean, look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? That's so cool. Now that also means, so there's a curved version and then See, this one isn't curved, but the, the thing is, this one can curve around the, the, the wall like this, right? Which is amazing, I love this. So cool, like look at this, isn't that, isn't that amazing? But then it can just be used as a regular window, so I'm not sure why they did two versions of the same window. I, I don't know why, but anyway, very cool. Curved windows, baby! And while we're here, just as a quick note, with the curved walls, there's actually a filter uh, for which windows will work on the walls. So like, I can go on this one, doesn't quite fit and some of them so some of them will work quite well so you can see these one these all these sort of base game windows they were never designed to be curved so they just place it flat which i think is fine because that happens a lot in real life as well and it means there's a lot more options but they work totally fine on here like you got these huge windows here so there's a lot of options and you can filter which ones are going to work on which uh walls and of course there are the curved ones which they will probably add more in future packs as well which is really awesome yeah i love those windows very cool uh so those are the windows and then last but not least i forgot that we had some more items inside here which is the lights so and this balloon thing which is a big balloon archway that's used a lot at the prom event um then we've got some hanging lights as well this one here lots of different colors Little flowers and pendants on it. This very Art Deco light. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how many times I said Art Deco. Maybe I don't need to keep saying it, but yeah, that light there, very cool. It's also a lower hanging version of that same light just here for taller walls. There's also this light, which is just, I can't, I don't know if I can get the underside of it. It's just like a pretty simple pill shape of light, which I also really like. Hang on, if I do this. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, that is an Art Deco light if I've ever seen one. <laughs> very nice so that's that one and we've also got this light over here oops sorry that one there and there's also this little wall light too which is very nice and these ones are super cool large canopy hanging lights so these uh, uh they are ceiling lights and there's three different sizes obviously for the three different wall heights and the idea behind them i'm just gonna go small wall real quick is that you would get one of these get one of your beds have your bed, have your canopy over your bed, you know? I think it might fit, yeah, it fits like along the length of the bed too, which is awesome. So you can have this canopy light over your bed. This has a really nice detail and fun little accessory, which I think is is actually really, really nice. <laughs> that looks awesome. All right, I think that is it. Um, Man, there's a lot of stuff. This is a long recording. I hope you enjoyed seeing stuff. Apologies if I missed anything. I mean, I probably did because it's just so much stuff, which is awesome. Like, I mean, if you want to do an Art Deco build, this is the pack. And I think we're definitely going to have to. We're also going to have to make a gamer room, like an absolutely gamer gamer room, especially with his RGB desk. 
I think we're gonna do that for sure. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this incredibly long video. I hope it was informative and gives you an idea of what to expect in this pack. Um, there's a lot of stuff for the bedrooms. I think all this bedroom stuff over here, you can combine that into some really unique spaces that look completely different, uh, especially with all those ver like variety of rugs and the, the posters. I think there's a lot you can do with that stuff. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.